Greetings everyone, what is up with me? What is up with me here again? Tim Prime 1 with another video review for you on this video. In this video review, we're gonna be taking a look at Transformers Cybertron Deluxe Class Undercracker. Now, so far, I want to say this, and my apologies if I do stutter a whole lot in this video. I have no idea what's going on with my mouth right now. Probably me talking too fast or something. But yeah, taking a look at Thundercracker, they definitely did a really great job. I'm loving everything they did with him right here. Very show accurate, I might add. They definitely did like a spontaneous job with him right here. And I will have to say this right down here, you can definitely see the arms, his left arm right here, his right arm right here, along with his legs. Very well done up with right there. Kind of blends in with the jet mode. I must say, it kind of does blend in with the jet mode almost fully. You can see the little missiles right here. Little missiles right here, and also the little rubbery plastic wings right there. I never, I don't think I ever, I ever noticed this in the TV show before with the little rubbery jet, rubbery jet, but the little rubbery, rubbery wings right here. But also his tail, right? His tails right here are a rubbery plastic, very nice rubbery plastic, and also his missiles are also a bit of a rubbery plastic as well. They definitely did a really great job of that right there. I also love the little orange chips right there. I love the orange detailing that they put on him right here. Very nicely done. Very beautifully done. And also, I want to say this, like with the feet right here, they made it to where in the TV show they would draw in and the thrusters come on out. But it's completely different of like of where, they, of where you have to open up the legs and rotate them around. But yeah, other than, other than that, Really nice, and I do like the Decepticon symbol touch right up here on the weapon right there. And if you all remember, yes, this is a weapon. Let's see, right up. Oh, oh, hang on for a second. <laughs> this is how I plant a key got on my arm. It got on my, whoopsies, whoopsies, hang on for a second. There we go. There you are. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the cyber plant key, insert it into, into the cyber key slot in the back of his vehicle mode, and voila, it actually brings up the <laughs> brings up the launcher right here to where it fires and you can see thundercracker's little head right there so yeah that's what all these type of flying key does he only has this this gimmick right here in in his jet mode and i'm not for sure of how to fire it properly like these two things right here look like these two little blue pieces right here look like they are the launching mechanism they are not sorry about that i am not 100 percent for certain of i can't remember of where this uh, the um, launching mechanism is it's supposed to be somewhere on the jet mode from what I can tell. Oh wait, oh yeah, that's right. Right back here. There we go. Launches the missile. I'm not gonna let it fly off. I am not gonna go off to get it. I am not gonna go off to get it. I like to keep my stuff intact as much as possible. That's what I like to do. And yes, Earth style plank, Earth style plank key right there. Put the cracker back on down there. Because now we're gonna go ahead and do some comparisons. He is with Deluxe Class Landmine along with Leader Class Optimus Prime. There we go so far. Also, his leader. Megatron, you can see how well they, so I see how, how well I like the comparison between them. There we go. There we are. Also, here he is with Earthwise Star Scream, along with Legacy Armada Universe Star Scream. Just that way you guys can see the size. Sorry. The size of the branches. And there you have it. Now for the transformation. Transformation process is very simple. It's, it's very, very simplistic. Go ahead and take his leg right here. Untap that and untap his leg from over here as well. He has a tap right there that will go into a slot right in there. Just yeah, right there. I want to show you all real fast. There it goes. That way, if it remains fastened on in there, there are more than there is more than one slot, but that is the only area for the leg to go into. So there we go. There are swing. This whole area down here is the waist, so the waist will swing on down. You will we'll tab this. You'll tab this in right here. Sorry about that earlier. Go ahead and tab that in right there. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is take the arm. 
bring the arm up if you can. A bit com I will admit it's, it's a bit complicated. There we go. R. Swing the arm down. This will become his left arm, and this will become his right arm. Swing the arm around right there. Rotate it on down. Now what you want to do is take... Now, normally his head will come on out of the cockpit, but his head is clearly visible right here. So what you want to do is flip this on down. Well, pretty much just fold this on down as best as possible. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead. I almost forgot to do this. You want to flip in the nose cone. There we go. There we are. That way it's concealed. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. It would more conceal down here. There we go. And just put the nose cone right back there. Right back onto his fanny like area. Now fold this on down. And there we go. This will go into place right here. It tabs into nothing at all. It just does not tap into anything at all. And this arm, I do wish I would have focused a little bit more on the tab section right in here. But here we go. Here we go. Let me go ahead and open up this. Where's the panel? Where'd that panel go? There's the panel. There's the panel. Rotate out the fist. There we go. I kind of do wish I would have made maybe the fist a bit blue. That way it didn't blend in too well with the arm. But it's how they made him in the TV show. It's how they made him. So far, so good. And now for the legs. The legs are very simplistic. Go ahead, split the legs in two. Bring the foot piece on out a good bit right there. Right there. Come on. There we go. Now rotate it around and just push it in. There we go. And just close this on up right there. Take this. Put the, open this, up, open this on up right here. And there we go. Rotate this foot around. Push on in and tap that into place. Take this foot right here, split it down the middle. There we go. Split it down the middle. There we go. And rotate these things on in on his legs. If you can, sometimes. There you go. And here we have. Cybertron Thundercracker now in his robot mode. Now I must say this about his robot mode. They definitely did a really great job of show accuracy within with him. But I must say this, these little bits down here, they are not um I do not recall them being in the show at all. I'm not for sure if they actually added these things on there. As soon as I check out the show, I want to double check to see if they did put these on there. But I will say this, these little Wing bits right here are a very, very nice touch. They definitely did a really good job with that right there. I noticed if I'll zoom in my camera in, so I try to zoom in and out and zoomed out as much as possible. But yeah, I do like with what they did with what they did with Cybertron Thundercracker. Really nicely done. But I do wish they would have added in some tab areas right here for him. That would have been really nice for them to do. I really wish that they would have done that right there. And if I remember correctly, I think he has a purple version called Skywarp, either for the Allspark Parrot line or for the um, Cybertron line. I can't remember which one it was. Just let me know in the just let me know in the comment section below if you guys can remember. But yeah, they definitely did a really good job. I love the overall head sculpt along with the silver paint they put on him, especially with the little chest piece right here and. I just noticed this. They have a little cockpit session right in here. A little, just a little cockpit. Well, more of detailing of the seat area right in there. But yeah, they definitely did a really good job. I do like this right here. 3D effect. <laughs> but yeah, they definitely. I really do like all this right here of what they did with him. Articulation wise, he can rotate his arm up and down, but very limited due to that right there. So the best way you guys can rotate it all the way around is, is if you have the arm on out like so and not do that. <laughs> so yeah, also wrist rotation, there is not, there is not. I they, they have enough room for a swivel. They have enough room for a swivel, but they did not put it down there. You have rotation of the bicep, el elbow movement, he cannot go up to 90 degrees on the elbow. He can just go up that far and down right there. His elbow is not his elbow is not double jointed. This right here on this arm, up and down. You can move this on up and move it 
back. It's on a bit of a kind of like a double hinge right here. Kind of so. Kind of so. You have a little bit, you have still have limited motion with the well, range of motion with the little wings right here and the and the rubber plastic missiles with the legs up uh, this way. You can't put them back. And legs, you can do this with the legs right here. You can just form a 90 degree at the knee and also no movement at the ankles at all. But you can, no, you cannot do it. You cannot do, you can kind of do a split, kind of, kind of do a split right there. But yeah, they did a pretty good job with them. They did a pretty good job. Now for the software key power in his robot mode. Um, Sorry, you can just, that's the best you can do right there. Same thing, same thing, but it's just, Altering the missile, it, the, the missile's altered direction. <laughs> but yeah, I do wish they would have thought a little bit more Thundercracker, and I'm beginning to wonder like if they are gonna focus on creating like masterpiece lines with um the Autobots and Decepticons from the TV shows like Armada, Energon, Cybertron, and such. That's one of my thoughts right there, since they are making um MP figures out of G1 and the movie figures themselves. So yeah, there's there's a lot of possibilities right there. There's a lot of possibilities right there with these guys. So yeah, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and put in Cybertron Optimus Prime along with Lad Mine. See how they scale with him. And I must say this, Cybertron Prime, he is definitely definitely taller. Than, than Thundercracker is. He's definitely taller than he is. So far, so good. Here's his leader. Megatron, he's definitely taller than Thundercracker is. Definitely taller. Yo, what's up? So yeah, there we have him. And also, and he fell on over. Here is Earthrise Starscream. And here is Armada Universe Legacy Starscream. If I can get him to stand. Just stand on the last video. One of the last ones, but you know what I mean. There we go so far. The reason why I put in like the reason why I put him in is, is to show you guys like the comparison between these guys right here. He's a Voyager class. He's a deluxe. He's smaller than he is, and yet the other version of Starscream is much larger than this. So yeah, then so yeah, you can definitely tell of how much they scale right there. If I remember correctly, back in the day, I think Thundercracker. I think he might. Sorry about that. I think he might have been um, ten dollars back in the day, while the new figures are like twenty five dollars. That's insane. That I will admit, that's pretty insane right there. So yeah, if you all like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my sub, subscribe to both me and Wishmaker, and check out my Tim Prime Mind Gaming channel. Also, if you want to, go ahead and check me out on all the social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord, and so on. And until next time, oh wait, wait, I think I forgot something. Oh my gosh, I definitely did. I I I, I will admit, I never pay attention to this down here. Like, you have landing gear right there. Landing gear right there for Thundercracker. That's one thing I did not notice until now. I'm beginning to, I'm a little bit curious now. If he has, well, I might have to adjust a few little areas. Hang on for a second, everyone. Let me see here. Yep, he has a landing gear right here as well. Let me go ahead and just try to get a few things on out of the way with a little fast. There we go, if possible. Here we go, yeah. You have landing gear on him. You have landing gear on Thundergrager. So yeah. There we go. Back right there. And also before I do end this video, your best bet of getting him is on eBay. Cause like if you try to go to a comic book store or to any other, any other person that might have Transformers, they might not have him. Your best bet is on eBay if at all possible. If at all possible. I do have a guy that I do buy my figures from, but I haven't gotten to see him in a while. And, uh, strongly because, hang on for a second. There we go. 
that's the best way for me to get him to stand up properly. So yeah, as I said before, if you all enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to both me and Wishmaker. Also check out my Tim Prime Morning Gaming channel and check me out on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord, and so on. Until next one, I'm Tim Prime One, and I'll be signing off right now. So peace out.